How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport. Welcome back to another absolutely gorgeous day right outside Tampa, Florida. And welcome back to our 1996 SC300. This is a manual car. This is the original W58 Trans. I'm gonna quickly go through it in case you're new to this channel and you happen to stumble across this video. But we're gonna jump right back into finishing up this V-Speed wide body kit, which I am absolutely loving, getting so excited about finishing up. And just for those of you that are new, it is a 50 millimeter rear with the bumpers and a 50 millimeter side skirt that is now a custom side skirt because we have the 25 millimeter front fenders. So we had to cut down the side skirt and pull it in. So last time we left off, I knew I had to get these front tires off and I had to figure out how to get this jacked up. So I left you guys off backing the car out and now I was able to basically pull it up onto a two by four, then up onto a ramp at an angle and now I've got it jacked up right in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these tires off. We're gonna tack the side skirt up to finish that off. And then we're gonna start working on this front bumper, getting this thing fully tacked up in here. And I think what I'm gonna to have to go with are those quick release things that they sell that tack in here, just because of how this is right now. And I'm gonna to need to be able to remove this bumper pretty easily if we're gonna be doing a turbo kit, which we will, um, because we're gonna to have to access it to install a front mount intercooler and some other things. So stay tuned. I'm gonna probably go down maybe to the store, pick up those, and we'll install those on this video and then we'll move to the back area and finalize this heavy coat that I got here on this side. So we've got to finish uh, going ahead and riveting this, putting all of our filler on there and really that might end the video. Maybe we can get a lot of this done today. Stay tuned guys. I'm going to set up and get this all taken care of. So since this is fiberglass into fiberglass, it was really hard for me to get rivets in there. And so I went over to screws and those are in there now holding it. And this thing is actually held up under here with a bunch of bolts going into the metal. So that part underneath this. So this is gonna be pretty secure. Uh, it is just a side skirt, so no weight's gonna be on it. Now what I'm gonna have to do is use that heavy Bondo uh, glass over this, and then we should be able to sand that nice and smooth. And this is where I wanted it. So it's a nice little crease across here. And I've even thought about taking some fender flares. I've seen this on another one and bringing it around. I'm not 100% sure, but that would kind of look cool if I could get it to fit properly. All right, guys, so let's, I'm gonna jump to the other side. I'm not gonna show that because I just wanted to fill you guys on this, and then I'll fill you guys in once again on the bumper. So let's step aside. Okay, guys, I'm up underneath the car and putting the tray up, and what I'm doing is using, I'm gonna do two hands to get this, but using the stock holes that hold the, the uh, stock tray up, and I'm only gonna put probably two. I might put the third one in the middle just because I want this to be a quick and easy bumper to take off, but I still want it to be secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then we'll jump outside and I'll show you guys where I'm at with the side skirts. Wow, guys, check this out. So just by putting that under tray on there, this just tucked this nice and tight. So all I really need to do now is maybe get one screw on the inside there. I was trying to avoid that a little bit so I don't have to take the tire off, but I think I can put a screw in there further enough towards the outside to where I can get that off pretty easily. And I'm still not opposed to putting the quick release, uh, basically fender bumper holders on. And this one, now look how tucked that is. Amazing. So just by pulling everything up into the right area, everything is really coming together. And then if you check out down here, I just got done uh, Bondo glassing this. Now, I went down and I had to pick up more of it. And I picked up a little bit different product. This is a long hair strand version of what we got. So it goes on almost identical to the one that I had. This is Bondo hair versus the Bondo glass. And if you read here, it says long strand. This is probably what I really needed from the beginning 
to do this. So if you guys are trying to do a major patch area like I'm going to be doing there or have already started there, pick up this, save yourself some money and time. The small cans are like $22, $23. This was 40 bucks. So if you if you buy three or four little cans, you end up spending way more money than just buying one of these big ones. That's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up now. You guys are going to see me riveting the rest of this. I'm going to grind down this, grind down into the trunk, and then we're going to start using that uh, Bondo hair, Bondo glass, or the Bondo hair over there to cover up the rivets and finish this off. And then we're going to start heavily sanding and see if we can get this thing to start looking a lot more finished off. I'm getting excited, guys, and hope you are too. So guys, while I'm waiting for all of this to dry, I know it looks like a mess, but trust me, it's going to look amazing once we get onto the sanding. I decided to figure out what I wanted to do on the front corner of this bumper. Keep in mind, I needed to make it fully removable and easy to access. So I decided to grab the um, these fender clips that came off of the original front bumper and got it to screw up in here and basically connect. And as you can see, it really pulled this whole side together. Now, what I wanna do is show you guys on this side how I did it. Really, really simple. I'm gonna set this up here. I'm gonna go on the inside of there, screw, uh, drill my hole, and then screw this in. You'll see this thing tuck right up. Alright guys, as you can see, this really tightened up here. Now let's do a quick walk around and talk about what we're going to finish up today. So, we put a ton of filler all across here. I've still got to finish down there. I'm going to move on to sanding this, adding that, 
going to kind of speed through all of that. The last thing I really want to get done um, on today's episode is we need to start filling this door because as you can see, this door uh, is off and it's not lining up with this fender. So I've got to bring this door out a little bit. So I'm thinking uh, either we use a good amount of that heavy hair strand and then kind of build up a little bit, maybe a few sheets of fiberglass and then that on top. I will fill you guys in once we get there. So we gotta grind that down and prime that so it does not rust anymore. And then I wanna smooth all this out so we can get our tires back on. That'll give us a way of moving this car around and kind of getting a much better idea of where we're at and we can start fine tuning uh, all the detailed filling. So stay tuned, we're gonna start sanding all this down. I'll speed through a lot of that and then I'll come back on and fill you guys in. guys we got tons and tons of sanding done here probably about two hours straight of just sanding and um, kind of going over some other areas as well so I've gotten all of this now to the point where I need to run down to this store and like I mentioned they sell uh, the filler that's exactly like the stuff that goes with the strands of fiberglass but it's just a harder material than your traditional Bondo and it's a green color so what we want to do now is get some of these really heavy pitted areas that weren't filled in properly because of the heavy strand stuff going on there and kind of smooth all of that out transition this a little bit better in here before we go and do that though, so that'll be on the next episode, we're gonna start doing all that. We're going to basically now do our door. Now we also uh, went ahead and sanded all up in here, which also is going to need uh, more of that filler. But let's go ahead now and get our final area that really is gonna need some heavy filling. And I'm gonna start grinding this down, I'm gonna prime it, and then we're gonna start filling it. And we'll probably end off the video there. The next video that comes out might actually be uh, adding the LS400 big brakes. Some of you guys haven't seen that. I kind of revealed it in a few different uh, episodes of different cars I was showing. So you might not have caught it if you're looking for just the SC300 videos, but I will be doing that very, very soon. If not the next video, probably the following one after that. Stay tuned, we're gonna go ahead and grind down the door and we're gonna start filling it. I'll speed through most of that and then I'll come back and show you guys how it comes out.
So guys, a ton of stuff happened off camera, some good, some bad. You guys got to see me put the fiberglass on there, but what you missed was I tried to start with uh, that Bondo hair. So that's that one gallon can I just picked up with the long strands of hair as compared to the Bondo glass. And I had issues with the hardener. <laughs> you can see this is still rubber-like. rubber, rubber -like. And it just didn't want to stay on, and I just peeled it right off the car. It actually came off pretty simple. And then you guys saw me go ahead and apply the fiberglass. Off camera, I went ahead and applied with a very like a lot of hardener in it, so it was a very quick a bunch of coats of the Bondo hair on here, and it worked out really, really well. It's very hard, it's sticking very well, and it created that nice layer that basically diminished our um, difference of height here. So we were able to fill in where the door was kind of going in. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and finish this video off by sanding this down as smooth as we can get it. And next video is going to be pretty exciting because I found this stuff at the store. It's called fiberglass resin jelly. And this is similar to the traditional Bondo except it's a much harder product. So it works much better when using fiberglass. It won't crack and it's not as flexible. That's the downside. But it won't crack like Bondo will uh, when the fiberglass glass flexes and, and so forth so you can use this to cover rivets etc so we're going to go ahead this is going to be our most likely our final product where we apply a top coat of the traditional bondo or some glazing putty which i'm still working on which brand i'm going to go with that so stay tuned guys i'm going to speed through this sanding it's getting windy out so i don't want to keep you here too much and then we'll go ahead and end the video and i'll show you guys how everything kind of looks so far Okay guys, so that's really about it for today. What we're gonna do next time is we're gonna go to block sanding and what block sanding is gonna do is give us an idea of how level every surface is. So the goal on the next episode is to start using that um, fiberglass resin jelly to fill in all the small holes here, well they're kind of large actually, that are created because when you start sanding this stuff, it'll flake off some of the pieces of fiberglass hairs that are in there. So what we want to do then is coat that and then we're going to spray it with some uh, primer and then we'll block sand it and we'll see where the low areas are so we can start getting this whole thing completely level, completely filled so we can start moving on to possible paint, uh, possible wrap, maybe plastic. I'm not 100% sure still what I want to do yet but we are not too far away guys so this is getting really exciting. Um, I think on the next episode, you guys might see a big brake kit going on the front here. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that next. I've got those in the car. I've already picked up some paint to paint them because they actually got a really nice paint job, but um, they had some issues when the guy laid them down to dry. They ended up laying down into a cloth, and he picked it up, and it got messed up so that'll be on the next episode if you guys let me know in the comments that's what you want to see i may still do it anyways but once again my name's pete this is pete's carport you guys have an amazing week stay safe out there have a blessed day and i will catch you guys on the next episode